Okay, in this video I want to look at drilling and tapping the previously spot drilled holes. But before I go into drilling and tapping, um, I just want to look at possibly changing the, the sorting options. So if I was to backplot this particular operation, you can see that it's drilling this hole first, then rapiding across here, and then rapiding all the way back over and then drilling the four holes. So that's the way the sorting option has created that uh, sequence, if you like, of holes. So to change the sorting, I'm just gonna close my back plot in here, expand that, and I'm going to my geometry. The drill point manager opens, so I'm going to go sort options. So this was the, the current pattern that it's using, and I'm going to change that to this type of a pattern here. Green tick. Okay, and and now if I back plot it, you can see it's a slightly probably more efficient toolpath. Okay, so once I'm happy with the sorting of my drilling operations, I'm going to move my little arrow back up, my insert arrow, and I'm going to drill these holes so I just said that I drill these this operation here um, so I'm going to right click and drag down and say copy after and essentially all I need to do in here then is go into the parameters change the tool so select a library tool change my filter that I'm just looking for drills and turn that one off and I'm going to look for a drill that's equal to diameter 4 okay I'm going to pick a high-speed steel drill I've got a, a warning coming up here that I have duplicate tool numbers so now at the moment I've got two tool ones in there if you like I'm going to accept that, but go into the high-speed steel drill. Okay, so just double-checking that my diameter and my lengths are okay. Click the next button, and on our machine again, this is tool number 13. And the cutting speed for this drill and this material is, is 68. And the feed per tooth is 0.08 and finish okay i'm just going to change the uh, the comment here so this is going to be drill four millimeter holes on level zero if i go to my cup parameters i'm going to change the cycle to being a pectoral operation and i'm going to give it a peck distance of three millimeters just note that's a positive value that you're putting in here it's plus three not minus my linking parameters in other words I need to change the depth and I want this drill to go down minus 12 and green tick regenerate and now you can see that I essentially have created a drilling operation okay so now I've just created a peck drill operation for all of the holes I'm just going to copy this drilling operation and convert it into a tapping operation. Right click and drag and copy after. Okay, again, just like previously, go into the parameters and I'm looking at the tool. I'm going to select a library tool, filter this time, none. I'm looking for right hand taps. Okay, equal to five green tick and we've got two types of tap here one is a forming tap and the other one is a standard threading tap so again I'm going to click on the thread type tap so I'm changing my comment to tap again if I look at this here my tool number is incorrect again so our M5 tap on our machine is tool number nine so again into here and next change this to tool number nine 
I want to just put my spindle speed in here and I'm going to put that in at 300 so 300 revs per minute now I suppose what's interesting here is this is uh, feed per tooth but because there's only one flute on the the tap here it's actually the pitch of the thread um, so it's important to make sure obviously that um, this is set to one if you're looking at your feed per tooth as being the pitch again you just got to make sure that you're using a right hand tap as such because that will determine the spindle direction obviously is the whether you've got a right or left hand tap cut parameters um so i'm not going to peck drill this i'm going to be using a tapping operation so it's vital you change that to tapping linking parameters i went down minus 12 with the drill so i'm going to go down minus 10 with the tap i just don't want the tap to bottom out at the bottom of the hole and green tick and regenerate so now you can see i have created my tapping operation rather than copying uh, the tapping operation for these two holes I'm essentially just going to add these two points or these two center points to the same tapping operation it will mean that I'm tapping five millimeter of fresh air but just to show you that again so if I went to the geometry in here so right click in the drill point manager click add points this is obviously means that I'm going to be selecting off the graphics and I want to add that point and that point to the operation and again now green tick and regenerate so now you can see that I'm tapping all of the holes um, you might look at the sorting here if you again if you were unhappy with the sequence so if I was to back plot it you can see I'm looks like I'm starting here going to there okay there's no real problem no issue with the sorting there and um, so I'm happy enough with that okay and obviously save